Middlesbrough failed to scale Robert Huth's Leicester battlements. Middlesbrough 0 0 Leicester. Full time. James Riach at the Riverside Stadium. Monday, 2 January, 2017, 14.35 GMT last modified on Monday, 2 January, 2017, 14.37 GMT. While 2016 was a year to remember for Leicester, City and Middlesbrough, much work is still to be done if 2017 does not turn into an almighty dud. Neither side deserve to win this scrap of a Premier League match that will probably go down as one of the worst this season, with the goalkeepers barely having a save to make and the result not exactly helping either team's bid to move up the table. Perhaps it was not surprising that this was no free-flowing affair, given Borough and Leicester have scored a combined 41 league goals, a figure equaled or bettered individually by Chelsea, Liverpool and Arsenal. Advertisement. The result still keeps both teams comfortably above the bottom three but Claudio Ranieri and Ader Karanka may need to improve the attacking potency in order to move further away from danger. Both sides made five changes from their respective matches on New Year's Eve and the first half was a fragmented one as a result. Leicester offered little width while Borough often found themselves in strong attacking positions only to be let down by their end product. The champions held a two-point advantage over Middlesbrough before kick-off and Karanka spoke beforehand of the importance of the match because it came against a relegation rival. Leicester s two points from their first nine away league games is the joint lowest total by defending top flight champions, but they have enjoyed a far superior record over Borough in recent times, not losing in their past 13 meetings. Brad Guzon replaced Victor Valdez in goal for Borough, while Leicester s Islam Slimani did not make the squad and Riyad Mahrez was playing his last game before departing for the Africa Cup of Nations. Leicester started well, with Shinji Okazaki causing problems with his usual injection of energy, and a persevering run from the Japan forward saw the ball at the feet of Christian Fuchs on the left-hand edge of the penalty area, but the full-back dragged his shot wide. Advertisement. For Burrow, their best outlet was Adama Trauer who continues his season of wonderful runs, and woeful crossing. On more than one occasion, the Spaniard beat his man down, the right before failing to deliver a telling ball, but he was certainly Middlesbrough's most dangerous proposition. In the 18th minute Trower went down on the edge of the area, under the challenge of the admirable Robert Huth, with the referee, Robert Madley, giving nothing, before setting up his team's best chance of the half moments later. Trower drove to the byline and squared the ball across goal for Martin, Derun, but the midfielder could fire, only over the crossbar with his first time effort. Both sides struggled to create clear scoring opportunities as the match wore on, although, Leicester s, Andy King and Burrow s George Friend on for the injured Antonio Berrigan, both fizzed enticing balls across the box only to evade any onrushing teammates. Friend had at least made an impact for Karanka s side and the full back cut inside from the left in the 68th minute, beat two defenders before slicing wide. Leicester came close when Leonardo Uloa headed a corner straight at Brad Guzon, but the game was descending, into a low-grade affair. Gaston Ramirez went close to a late goal, firing, a low shot into the side netting, after a poor, headed clearance from West Morgan, but no one deserved to win this match.